in our ongoing study of threat modeling, I'd like to talk to you about two things today. First, some definitions that you need to understand and we need to agree upon before we can really proceed with threat modeling. And second, uh, some reasons why you think you might want a threat model and some reasons why I, through my experience, know you should threat model. Okay? So, first of all, uh, some definitions. Threat. A threat is something that could potentially happen that's not good. It's bad, right? So the threat is something like uh, somebody could hack into your systems and steal some of your personal data, uh, steal somebody's social security number, um, uh, steal the secret formula for your uh, recipe, steal uh, um, a process that you uh, have, uh, all kinds of things. An attack is the actual realization of that threat. So the threat is somebody might hack into your system and steal this. The attack is they're actually doing it right now. Okay? A vulnerability is something that could, that exists in your system uh, that would make it possible for that attack to succeed. So an, a vulnerability is not necessarily a defect. A defect is not necessarily a vulnerability, and a vulnerability is not necessarily a defect. A defect is it doesn't do what the requirement said it should do. A vulnerability is it allows somebody to get in and do something bad. Risk and risk management. Risk is the uh, percentage chance that this is going to happen. Risk management is the kind of overall umbrella that uh, within which threat modeling sits, and uh, it's kind of the broader continuum uh, of uh, risk. A mitigation is something you do to make the threat either not possible or to minimize the effects of the threat. Um, so given all those definitions, threat modeling is the organization's um, activities that help the organization understand threats to assets, um, how those threats are realized, and how to avoid them through mitigations. Why would you threat model? Some people th say you should threat model because the threat landscape is really um, is changing and it's getting worse. Yeah, I agree. Some people say it's so you can catch problems early. Yeah, I agree. Some people say it's because you um, uh, have limited resources and you want to be able to decide how to apply those resources. Yeah, I agree. Um, some people say it's because you have systems of systems. You're interconnecting systems in new ways that have never been thought of before by you. And uh, I would agree. Uh, some people say that it's to increase or enhance your decision-making uh, capability. I'd agree. Um, uh, all those are reasons why you threat model. Now, here are a few that, in my experience, actually are, are things that I wouldn't have thought of beforehand. Um, you threat model to increase awareness of threats. People in IT, people in the business part of your organization don't necessarily understand how a threat could really happen. Um, that's one plus. Uh, another plus of threat modeling is that you can focus your resources. You can say, this is really dangerous, really bad. I'm going to focus more resources in this area. This is not so dangerous, not so bad. I'm going to put less resources there. You can do better security assessments. Instead of having a checkbox that says, I check this, I check this, I check this, you can actually think through your processes and do better security assessments with threat modeling. Organizational awareness. The business customer in your organization typically does not understand risk and threats uh, in the way that we're talking about them right now. Um, and this threat modeling process, one of the huge benefits was that it bridges the gap between business and IT, between business and application, between the OGC and business. Um, and finally, um, uh, one of the coolest things about, uh, about threat modeling is that everybody gets excited about security in a way that it's, has not happened before. Um, it used to be, hi, I'm here from IT security and I'm, uh, I want to help. And, and basically everybody would kind of clinch up and get all tense and upset. But now threat modeling actually ends up in a good place where everybody's kind of happy that we did this process. Um, look forward to our next uh, topic uh, in threat modeling. See you then.